In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CH3CH3. This is also written as C2H6, the same thing. We call this ethane. So to write the Lewis structure for ethane, CH3CH3 here, let's first count the valence electrons up. So carbon, right here on the periodic table, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A, four valence electrons. So we have four valence electrons for carbon, and then hydrogen, that's in group one, that has one valence electron, like all of the elements in group one. But we have three hydrogen atoms. And here again, we have carbon is four plus one times three. We have a total of 14 valence electrons for the CH3, CH3 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element at the center, and in fact, hydrogens always go on the outside of Lewis structures. So we'll put our two carbons here, and then we'll put hydrogens around them, three hydrogens around each carbon. So we have a total of 14 valence electrons for CH3, CH3. We're gonna put two between atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. So far, we've used 12 electrons, 12 of our valence electrons. We'll put the last two here on the carbon. So at this point, you can see each hydrogen has two valence electrons here by sharing with the carbon. Hydrogen only needs two to have a full outer shell. Each carbon atom has eight valence electrons. That's an octet. So it has its octet satisfied as well. So this is the Lewis structure for CH3, CH3. You may also see this written shorthand like this here. And quite commonly, you'll see it written like this here. These are all considered Lewis structures, and they're all two-dimensional. That means we don't really see the shape of the CH3CH3 molecule. If we looked at the actual molecular geometry for CH3CH3, that would look like this. The blacks, those are the carbon. You can see each carbon has three hydrogen atoms spread out around it. And then on the other side, the carbon, three hydrogens, CH3CH3. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for ethane, CH3CH3. Thanks for watching.